Cyberlink's Power Director 365 Video editing software bridges the gap between professional editing and consumer friendliness. It's often ahead of professional-grade software in terms of support for new formats and technologies, and is loaded with tools that help you put together compelling digital movies complete with transitions, effects, and titles. Best of all, it's easy to work with and fast at rendering. PowerDirector is the prosumer video editing software to beat, and a PC Mac editor's choice winner, earning a 5-star rating thanks to its full feature set, ease of use, and polish. What's new in PowerDirector? As with Adobe's Creative Cloud, new features appear throughout the year to subscribers of the 365 version of PowerDirector and the larger Director Suite 365, which includes photo and audio software. For CyberLink adepts, this summary shows new features that have appeared since our Fall 2022 review update. For subscribers in particular, the company manages to continually add new effects and tweaks to improve existing tools. PowerDirector Platform Support and System Requirements PowerDirector runs on Microsoft Windows 11, 10, 8.1, and 7, with a 64-bit version required. For AI features, you need Windows 10 or 11. You need a minimum of 4 GB RAM and at least a 128 MB VGA VRAM graphics card. 2 GB for AI features, a macOS version arrived in 2021. It requires macOS 10.14 or later and runs on both Intel and Apple Silicon Moan base Macs. Video Editing Interface The program's user interface is about as clear and simple as a program with such a vast number of options can be. But it can still get overwhelming when you're deep in the weeds of fine-tuning video or audio effects. It's not quite as simple and friendly as Adobe Premiere Elements or a Shampoo Movie Edit Pro. But that's because it offers more capabilities. Basic Video Editing in PowerDirector As with most nonlinear video editing software, PowerDirector lets you join and trim clips on the timeline. If you drag a clip to the end of the timeline, it snaps next to the existing clip. If you drag a clip to the middle of the movie, you see a tooltip with five options, override, insert, insert, and move all clips, and replace. Assisted Movie Making in PowerDirector one of the best things to come to home video editors in recent years was pioneered by Apple with the trailer's feature in iMovie. Premiere Elements has a similar video story feature. With either of them, you fill templates with video and photo content that meets the needs of a spot in the production, such as group shot, close-up, or action shot. The software elaborates these clips with transitions and background music that match your chosen theme. Magic Movie Wizard you get to the Magic Movie Wizard right from the startup menu's auto mode option. This features a four-step process, importing source content, adjusting and enhancing the content, previewing and producing. As with the templates, you can download various magic styles from Director Zone to use with this feature. Intro Designer Intro Designer, new with 2022's version 21 update, addresses one of the most pressing needs of today's online video creator or vlogger who needs consistency in their productions. You access the intro designer with its new left rail icon to enter the intro video room. Action Camera Tools Power Director can import and edit footage from GoPro cameras as well as from other action cameras from the likes of Sony, Kodak, and Ion. The dedicated Action Camera Center under the Designer button menu appears when you select a clip. Motion Tracking Motion tracking lets an object, text, or effect follow around something moving in your video. It's a common technique for blurring moving objects or displaying text that moves together with something or someone. This feature has been updated and improved with AI since my last test of it. Color Tools The included color match option is important for movies shot at different angles with different equipment and lighting. The button appears when you have two clips selected. You scrub to the frame in each that you want to match, choosing a reference and a target that will receive the reference frame's colors. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.